Hi there, Jeremy Colvin with Vapor here today. I thought I would take a minute to talk to you guys about Ready XWIC. We get a lot of calls about Ready XWIC and what its properties are, what makes it so special, why you would want to include it in your vape gear, and uh, just really kind of what makes Ready XWIC Ready XWIC. The biggest thing is, well, a few things. One is the flavor. Uh, with the ceramic wicking material, the flavor that you get is just simply amazing. Uh, it doesn't interfere with the flavor of your liquid at all, uh, as opposed to some other materials such as uh, how cotton, for example, can kind of uh, mute or, or change the flavor of your liquid because of the properties of the material. Ready X Wick is a ceramic wicking material, so it doesn't affect the flavor whatsoever. Uh, another huge benefit to Ready X Wick is because it's a ceramic wicking material, the longevity of it, the life expectancy, meaning how long you can use your wick for, is significantly longer uh, with Ready X Wick than it is with a material such as, say, cotton. Uh, we actually have reports of the longest uh, that a single piece of Ready X Wick uh, lasted a customer. He actually did a test for us uh, over the span of a very long time on a daily use uh, dripper to see how long uh, of a lifespan he could get out of a single three-quarter inch piece of wick. Amazingly, he got 760 days out of one single three-quarter inch piece of wick on a daily use dripper. Now granted, he took very special care of it when he went to go clean it and when he went to maintain the uh, wicking material. Uh, he obviously took good care of, of how he did that. Uh, but he did use it on a daily basis, and that material lasted him that long. Would I suggest you use your wick for 700 plus days? Quite frankly, no, not really. Uh, but we wanted to see just how long the wicking material could actually last. So we had them had that gentleman do the test for us. Uh, and again, 700 plus days on a single three-quarter inch piece of wick is pretty amazing. Uh, after 760 days, the three-quarter inch piece of wick was down to about a half an inch, uh, and the only reason that he couldn't use it any longer was because it had finally become unraveled. Uh, he was actually able to still completely clean that wick material uh, back into a pearly white uh, wicking material as if it was originally uh, brand new, uh, which I'll go ahead and show you through, through some examples of exactly what I mean by that. And that's one of the things that makes Ready X Wick so special, uh, is the ability to clean the wick as opposed to simply throwing it away. Uh, we do this often with cotton. Uh, we use the wick uh, three or four days later. Uh, the, the vape just becomes unpleasurable. We yank out the cotton, throw it away, put a new piece of cotton in. With Ready X Wick, number one, you don't have to do that. Uh, number two, it lasts much longer uh, between the times that you actually have to maintain the wick and the time that you're able to leave the wick in your device, in your build, and just enjoy vaping. That's what I love about Ready X Wick. It's so little maintenance. It's very little fuss. Uh, once you get it in the build, uh, it's very easy to maintain, uh, and, and you can just enjoy doing what you would rather, really rather be doing, which is vaping, right? So here we have a device. This is a Aromamizer Supreme. Um, uh, is it the Supreme XL? Uh, and it is, uh, of course, we have it on our site. Uh, but this is my favorite tank. Uh, this is a 20 milliliter tank. Holds a ton of juice. Uh, I vape this all day long. What I really like about the Aromamizer Supreme is the um, uh, size of the wicking uh, material that you can use in it because it's got such a huge deck in there. You can actually use a four millimeter, a dual four millimeter coil, which is perfect for our four millimeter Ready X Wick product, which is one of the reasons, of course, why I love it. Uh, I use this tank all day long, every day, uh, every day of the week, every day of the month. Uh, and, and quite frankly, this is a good time for me to show you kind of the properties of Ready X Wick and what makes it so great, because I'm actually at the point right now where the build, uh, the vape just isn't quite tasting right. It's tasting a little, not so much burnt, but just kind of gunked up. It doesn't give it, it doesn't have that rich, full flavor uh, that I want in my vape. Uh, so it's bottom line, it's time to clean the Ready X Wick in this. Now you're going to see when I open this up, uh, the Ready X Wick is probably just disgusting. It's probably very dark, uh, and, and that's the juice uh, that's that's you know been in it. 
I think the last time I cleaned this wick was, oh, if I was going to guess, I would say two or three months ago, somewhere along those lines. Not sure exactly when, <laughs> which quite frankly is one of the benefits of Ready X Wick. You'll forget the last time that you had to mess with your build. Uh, that's one of the things I love about it. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we are at that point now. I mean, you can see it still vapes. Let me go ahead and fire it up here. So, obviously, it still vapes. Um, it just doesn't have that, that flavor that I'm really looking for. It doesn't, this is a, a butterscotch uh, caramel flavor that I've been playing around with uh, making. Uh, it's a beautiful flavor, um, but right now I just don't taste it. It doesn't have that nice, beautiful flavor uh, to it, and I can tell that my wick needs to be touched up. So let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, the things that you're going to need to clean Ready X Wick is first, a pair of ceramic tweezers. Uh, second, a torch. Pretty simple, right? Let's go ahead and flip to the screen so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so again, here's that same build. You know, no camera, foolery, whatever. This is the same. I, I typically vape, like right now I have this at uh, 68.7 watts. Uh, this is a 0.43 ohm coil, uh, and this is pretty much where I usually find myself, my happy spot. It's a good vape, but it could be better. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to take this apart, and then we're going to clean the Ready X-Wick, which is really what this video is about. So first we're going to take the tank off. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and take the... Uh, bottom off of that aromizer, set that aside. We'll take out the build deck portion. Oh yeah, just as I had suspected, uh, this is quite disgusting. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and show the camera here. You can see that's that's pretty gross. Uh, let me let me change the camera so I can set the focus manually so I can show you this. You know that's that's a pretty that's a pretty disgusting <laughs> that's a pretty disgusting wick right there. It's pretty nasty. So let's go about cleaning this. Super simple. We just took the build deck off. What I like to do because I'm quite frankly I'm kind of lazy. Uh, you can take the material back out of the build deck and torch it separately. What I like to do, though, and I think that it really helps with lo with the longevity of the Ready X Wick because you're not taking the build uh, completely out of the, or you're not taking the uh, wicking material completely out of the build. What I'll do is I'll just leave the wicking material inside the build and clean it right on the deck. So first thing I'm going to do is take this and put this up to a hundred and. 120, 130 watts, you know, something along those lines. Uh, right now, I think I'm at 100, 133 watts on the nose, uh, and I'll I'll just kind of take the wiki material out of the channels. Let's go ahead and pop those out. Ooh, gosh, that's so gross. That's awesome. Well, obviously, I can tell why my vape was tasting. Disgusting. Why am I not disgusting? But why my vape wasn't tasting great? Uh, and it actually, you know, it looks worse than what it is. Uh, you know, yes, this is brown and nasty and and pretty gross. Um, but the vape, it actually was still fairly decent. Uh, again, you can see. I'll go ahead and pull that out and change the focus so you can get a better picture of it. Let's see here. So there you have it. I would call that. I'd call that pretty gross, you know. That's a that's a pretty disgusting build. Uh, so what we'll do here, the first thing I like to do, is just fire this bad boy at 130 watts until it catches fire. You can see those coils are starting to glow. Obviously, there's a lot of vapor coming up, and poof! Now we have fire. 
Uh, why do we do this? Uh, the reason why we do this, or why I do this, uh, is because I like to burn the excess uh, oil off of the wick. Now, you do want to be careful when you're doing this, because if your build deck has uh, rubber O-rings on it, obviously your build deck's going to get rather hot. Uh, now, O-rings typically are rated to handle some temperature. Uh, what we're doing here, though, is fairly extreme temperature, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I've never really run into a huge problem with it. Um, you know, usually it's only it only burns for a few seconds, uh, and then it's you know then it's done. And again, what we're doing there is burning out the excess oil of the Ready X wick uh, from uh, the wicking material itself. Now, if you take another look at this material, now that we've kind of burnt it all out, again, I'll go ahead and take the focus and put it on manual. Okay, so you can see already right off the bat, compared to what it was, you know, it's at least better, uh, for sure. Uh, it was, was completely black and disgusting. Now you can actually see some white in there, which is good. So how do you clean the rest of it? We're going to go ahead and put the focus back on. Okay, if you're looking for a quick job, like if you are just out in the field and you don't have a torch on you and you just want to get it clean uh, fairly quickly uh, as sort of a quick fix kind of thing, uh, what you can do at this point now that you've already burnt off the excess is just go ahead and fire your coils again. Obviously, you need to keep safety in mind. You need to understand your battery. You need to understand your build. Uh, you don't want to just fire this non-stop, uh, which is why you see me kind of pulsing it. You'll see me press it, I'll let it get hot orange, and then I'll let go. I'll press it, I'll let it get hot orange, and then I'll let it go. And I'm going to repeat this kind of procedure a few times, because what I want to do is maintain the temperature of the coil. I want to keep that very, very hot, but I'm not necessarily, I don't want to necessarily brain, uh, drain my battery where I'm hurting my battery, or putting the build or the whole device uh, itself in risk. Uh, so again, that's why we kind of pulse it on and off. So we'll go ahead and do that a few times, and you're going to see right off the bat what's happening. And this is why I say this is good for kind of a quick fix. If you're out in the field, if you don't have a torch, uh, this is a good way of kind of giving yourself a quick little clean where at least the material that's by the coil, so the material that's actually going to be producing the vapor, is clean. I'll go ahead and put the camera back out of autofocus, and we'll zoom back in, and I'll show you what happens with the wick. What happened with the wick? Now you see there. Now we're starting to see the magic happen. You see on either side of that coil how it's starting to get back to a pearly white wicky material. All that black, nasty uh, juice that was in there is now burnt out of that section of the material, and now we're dealing with just good, clean, fresh material. This would be the equivalent of you ripping the material out and putting new cotton in, but you don't need to. You just fire your coils right on your device without having to take your material out, and voila, you now have a clean build, right? So let's take it a step further. Let's say we want to go ahead and give it a good, thorough, all the way through cleaning. What I will do when I do that is I'll take my ceramic tweezers and I'll pull it over to, all the way over to one side. Not completely all the way over. I want to leave about a quarter of an inch in the, uh, in the coil itself. And the reason that I do that is because I want to be able to pull the material back through when I'm done cleaning this side. So again, I'll show you in the, in the camera here what I mean by that. Okay, so you see how I pulled the wiki material, oops, there we go, how I pulled the wiki material almost out of the coil but not completely. I've left the two, the two sides are longer than the other side so I'll clean that side first and then I'll drag it back over to the other side and clean the other side. So how do you do that? How do you clean this side? Well again, this is where your handy dandy torch comes in play. So we're going to go ahead and fire the torch on, lock it so that the flame stays on, 
and then you literally take the torch and you burn the material. Uh, Ready X wick is because it's a ceramic based wicking material it can handle super high temperatures. It's actually rated at handling over 2000 degrees in temperature actually handles significantly over 2000 degrees closer to 22 2400 degrees so the the heat of this torch is not going to hurt the wicking material at all however the vaping material so the liquid that we vape the oil cannot withstand those with the uh, cannot withstand those temperatures so the oil that we vape gets burnt right out of that wick as opposed to uh as opposed to staying in there and being black and gunky and disgusting. So this, as you can see, doesn't really take long. You can already see the material itself is turning back to that uh, nice white color. It gives it that nice, clean, fresh taste. And this is happening without throwing the material away. Just by using a little torch to kind of clean it up. I'll go ahead and turn the torch off and I'll show you what the material looks like now. We just did it in about, I don't know, what did you say, 30 seconds of torching it. So we'll go ahead and look at the material again. And there you have it. You see how much cleaner and whiter that material is uh, as opposed to the other side. And that's just from cleaning it with the torch. To me, that seems pretty amazing. So again, what you do here now, we've cleaned the one side. We're going to go ahead and pull with our ceramic tweezers. We're going to pull the material over to the other side until we start seeing the white wick. And I kind of like to pull it a little further, kind of leaving it over to the edge so we can get the flame as far away from the build deck as possible so we keep most of the heat away from the build deck. So again, I'm going to show you the other side here. And we'll put the focus back in. Okay, so that other side is is the tip of that is still that you know dark black material. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with a torch again. And actually, I wonder if I could I'm gonna leave the focus about here so I can kind of show you live what the torching does. So I'm gonna take the torch again, fire it. And again, we're just basically torching it until that material starts to glow orange. And there you have it. Again, totally white, clean material, ready to put back into our build. So, what do we do to put it back into our build? Super simple. We just take our handy dandy tweezers, pull it back into the center of the coil. like so okay as you can see I've sort of recentered that build back on the build deck here alright and then we just tuck it in uh, back into the channels I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down a little bit uh, because we just hit it with a torch, it's obviously going to be uh, still a little warm. It does cool down fairly quickly. I mean, you can see I can already touch it with my fingers, so it's not overly hot right now. Uh, the deck itself is actually fairly cool to the touch. As you can see, I can actually hold the deck, so it's not super, super hot at the moment. 
Uh, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is start tucking this material back into that build deck. And again, this is the Aroma Miser Supreme. I love this deck because it can handle uh, these size of coils. Uh, that and I love the uh, I love the uh, device because it's a 20 mil tank. I mean, I can vape all day long and only have to refill the tank maybe once uh, for my vaping style. So again, what I'm doing here is tucking this back into the build deck just so that it's all nice and tucked. One of the things with Ready X Wick, speaking of the build deck, uh, cotton is a saturation material, uh, meaning cotton really likes you to kind of use as much of it as you can. Uh, and the reason for that is, is because the material itself doesn't actually wick any material, uh, or rather any... Uh, any liquid. Uh, what cotton actually does is it saturates. So it will get wet obviously if it's put into a, a tub or a, a, a you know container or, or a source of liquid. Uh, however it's more of a saturation material in that it just sort of absorbs liquid. Uh, whereas Ready X Wick is actually a wicking material uh, that will actually or is actually designed not only to absorb liquid uh, but to draw liquid uh, up its fibers to the coil itself. So you're not just absorbing liquid, uh, you're actually drawing uh, the, the liquid or the oil uh, to the hot source which would be our coils. Uh, now why is that a difference? Uh, the biggest reason I mentioned that is that with cotton because it's a saturation material you kinda wanna use as much cotton as you can in your build because the more cotton you use the more material there is to get saturated which means your wick will be you know more wet uh, which then when you hit that with a hot coil you're gonna get better vapor ready x wick because it's not a saturation material so much uh, more of a wicking material you don't have to use as much material as you would with cotton. So you don't have to sort of stuff the deck, uh, so to speak. If, if a piece of the Ready X Wick is touching uh, where the liquid is, it is going to wick that liquid up to the coil. So less is more uh, with Ready X Wick. Uh, both materials are great materials for vaping, both cotton and Ready X Wick. I prefer Ready X Wick because it's just a little less fuss. Uh, and you can go a long, much, much longer time uh, between builds uh, than you can with cotton. So I've gone ahead and tucked those back in there. I'll go ahead and show you the picture of that again. And you can see that build looks brand new as opposed to the build that we just had in there. Again, same material. We didn't actually take the material out. We just cleaned it versus throwing it away and putting new in. Why throw it away when you don't have to? That's the beauty of Ready X Wick. Okay, so now with that build in there, I'm going to go ahead and prime it uh, with some liquid, uh, just because that's what I, uh, what I prefer to do uh, when I'm starting off. Actually, what I'm going to do first is take it off of this build, uh, off of the uh, device. Okay. Made a little mess, sorry about that. Okay, uh, so now we'll go ahead and prime this a little bit. Oh, I'm out of focus. There we go. We'll go ahead and prime this a little bit here. I like to prime it just because I'm impatient. You don't have to prime it. Uh, you can just put it back in your device and then let, you know, let your tank fill up uh, your juice well, which of course then will wick in the material but for purposes of this video obviously we don't want to wait the couple of minutes for that just to do that so I'll go ahead and prime it. I'll put it back into my tank here. Again this is the uh, Aromamizer 
Supreme, I think it's called a Supreme Plus. Um, uh, I'll show you the difference between the two here, uh, between the Aroma Miser. Supreme. I think I have a case here for the other one. Uh, well, maybe I don't. I tell you what, give me just one second. I'll grab one. There we go. All right. So Actually, that's the Supreme. Anyway, uh, I, I evidently don't have uh, on me. Let, me. let me just take a look here. I should have. Huh. Okay. Well, I don't have any any of the uh, boxes on me for them, but. Uh, this is the, I believe it's the Aromamizer Supreme Plus, as opposed to this is the Aromamizer Supreme, which is another great tank, the Aromamizer Supreme. The regular Supreme, I would not put a 4 millimeter coil in. I would just put uh, the smaller diameter, uh, the 2.5 mil coil in. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and stick this uh, build deck into our compartment here in the Supreme. like so. Then we'll go ahead and take our ring, put it back on. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that back on there. Put it back onto our device. Let's go back to the other screen here. Uh, oh, <laughs> one important thing, remember to put your wattage back down to where you enjoy it at. I just about vaped at 130 watts. That's not where I enjoy it at. I like vaping at 60, 65, somewhere in that area. So we'll go ahead and put it at 65. Oops. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about, about flavor. Ten times better, uh, now that we got that cleaned up. Feels like a fresh build. The flavor is incredible. This is beautiful. Man, that's good. Uh, again, Ready X Wick is what the product we're talking about here. Great flavor, easy to rebuild, super easy to clean. Absolutely love this stuff. Let me switch back to the other screen here real quick. Actually, we'll go ahead and leave it on this screen. Uh, Ready X Wick comes in three different sizes. <clears throat> First is the what we call the Ready X Wick Slim. This is a 1.7 millimeter thickness. Second is Ready X Wick Regular. Ready X Wick Regular is a 2.7 millimeter thickness and what we just built on in the example of this video is Ready X Wick XL which is 4 millimeter thickness so those are the three different sizes of Ready X Wick right there and you can use them for any kind of builds you're interested in 
I appreciate you guys watching the video. Hopefully this helped clear up some questions about how to refresh or how to clean Ready X Wick, how to reuse it in your build, why it's such a great material, quite frankly, a lot easier than any other material that's out there, and the longevity is incredible. I just, this build I've had on here for over three months, roughly, uh, maybe even longer than that, quite frankly. Uh, the last time I, I cleaned it was probably two or two months ago or so. I usually like to clean it every two to two to three weeks, depending on what material I have in there. Um, this particular uh, vape, the Butterscotch Caramel Vape, uh, tends to gunk coils up a little bit more. Uh, so I, I like to clean it more closer to the two to three uh, two to three week range. Uh, but I've had other vapes, my strawberry banana smoothie, uh, that I can go three, four, five weeks uh, without having to clean uh, the material at all. So, Ready X Wick, folks, if you have any questions, uh, you can uh, certainly get a hold of me. Uh, the website for Ready X Wick is vapor.com. That's V A P E P O U R.com. Again, V A P E P O U R.com. As you can see, uh, right, oops, <laughs> no wait, this way, right over there. There we go. <laughs> right over there, Vapor, V-A-P-E-P-O-U-R.com. Thanks, take care, have a great day.